This is called the bliss of renunciation, the bliss of seclusion, the bliss of peace, the bliss of awakening. I say of this kind of pleasure that it should be pursued, that it should be developed, that it should be cultivated, that it should not be feared. Now, this sounds like the, the last little bit, it should not be feared, it sounds kind of peculiar. But when the Buddha was a bodhisattva and he was trying all of these other practices, he got into the austerities where he was actually torturing his body and he became afraid of this kind of pleasure because he thought that that wasn't the way to gain enlightenment. On the night of his enlightenment, he started reflecting and then he remembered when he was a very young boy sitting under a tree. He was left alone for a period of time. He started meditating in the way that he's teaching right now. And he got into the jhana. And he saw that not all pleasurable feeling is bad as long as there's not attachment to it. And there's no attachment while you're in the jhana. So it's not to be feared, not to be pushed away. Uh, when I was in Malaysia, again, I was teaching some monks meditation, and one of them came to me and he said, you know, I had some joy. And I said, good. And he said, but I stopped it right away. I don't want to be attached. Because all of his other teachers told him, don't be attached. And I said, well, you know, joy is not a bad thing. I mean, it is one of the uh, factors of jhana. And it's all right to have joy. Just don't let everything else go and focus on the joy. Allow the joy to be there. Relax into it. Come back to your object of meditation. The joy will start to last longer and longer when you do that. And you'll start to experience different kinds of joy when you do that.